Hi, we're from SureTech Tools, a Canadian-based company that provides woodworking and metalworking tools. In this video, we will be giving a tutorial for upgrading a Makita 2012 12-inch planner with a spiral cutter head from SureTech Tools. This spiral cutter head has 4 spirals and 40 carbide inserts installed. It dramatically reduces noise, increases machine lifetime, and produces a smoother finish with no tear out. First, remove the top panel and side dust collector. Next, remove the straight knife blades. Remove the gearbox cover. Remove the snap rings. Then remove the spring that guides the chain in place. Now you can remove the gears and the chains. Make sure you collect the keys. If they are not reachable, you may need to retrieve them after removing the side panel. Remove the handle. Remove the screws along with the side panel. Remove any keys if there are still some left. Remove the pulley cover. Remove the screws and the side panel of the other side. Unlock the cutter head. Remove the screw that holds the spring. Now you can rotate the shaft to help remove the pulley belt. Remove the rest of the cutter head lock. Remove the pulley cap and then the pulley itself. Make sure you collect the key. The tool used here is called a jaw grip puller. It can be purchased on our website at sheartack.com. Remove the screws to the cutter head plate. Hammer the cutter head block off the base. Make sure to collect the washers. Remove the plate attached at the end of the cutter head on the other side. Hammer the cutter head out and remove the cutter head plate. Now we are ready to install the new spiral cutter head. Since the cutter head is OEM size, where the cutting circle is exactly the same as the original cutter head, it is essential to remove the carbide inserts from the cutter head to prevent damages to the blades. Additionally, it is necessary to enlarge the hole size through grinding to allow the cutter block to fit. When the hole is large enough, lower the cutter head and then hammer it in place. Fasten both sides of the cutter head with their respective plates and screws. Place the washers on the side columns and then hammer the cutter block into place. Place the key and then hammer the pulley onto the shaft. Add the pulley cap. Attach the cutter head lock. First attach the springs to the right place and then pull down on the lock fastening the screw last. Attach the pulley belt. Fasten both side panels and pulley cover with screws.
attach the handle. Add the gears, chain, and snap rings. Make sure not to forget the key. Attach the chain guide spring. Attach the gear cover. Set your torque wrench to 5.6 newton meters. Now attach the carbide inserts. Make sure to push the knife edge against the seat or pocket. Make sure to press the knife top and the seat top at the same time. Additionally, safety is important, so please make sure to wear your gloves. Gloves are currently not worn due to demonstration purposes. Finally, attach the dust box and top cover. Now your machine is ready for use. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial for the Makita 2012 planner. If you need any assistance or replacement parts, be sure to check out ShareTac's website at www.sharetac.com or send us an email at sales at for woodworking supplies and more.